track now. Again, eight laps the distance. The top four going to qualify directly into tonight's feature event. Making up row number one, that'll be the 68 of Robin Mortensen. And to the outside, the 28 of Jim Lampman, both regulars here at Merrillville Speedway. Row number two on the inside, 37H of Rob Hoskins. And to the outside, the 72, the guy in the running for the championship with Dave Bailey. That's 72, Doug Anderson out of Trenton, Ontario. Row number three, the 1J of Jason Fontaine. And alongside him, that'll be the 11R of Bryce Richardson. And rounding out the field, the 7K of Kevin Kokorek. So a few outsiders in this heat here tonight as they fire at the orange cone in turn number four and the green flag flies. 72 of Doug Anderson giving a little push to the 28 of Jim Lampman down the front stretch. Lampman quick to jump out front as he leads the field down the back stretch. Now the 68 of Mortensen and the 72 of Doug Anderson. A little contact between those two cars and Anderson loses a bit of ground and a lot of contact with the 11R of Richardson and the 1J of Jason Fontaine all come together as the yellow will come out for the first time here tonight. And is the leader, so he will be the first car to fire. He can fire anywhere between the Lucas Oil Live leaderboard halfway through turns three and four and the orange cone exiting turn number four. If you just draw a box in that area, that is the firing zone and the 28 of Jim Lampman enters it. He's back on the gas fighting with the 37H of Rob Hoskins for that lead spot as they stay side by side through turns one and two. Hoskins with the advantage out of turn number two by now half a car length as he enters turn number three. Lampman trying to ride the high side of the racetrack and stay within fighting distance. Can't do it though as he loses a bit of ground out of turn number four and opens the door for the 11R of Bryce Richardson to sneak in there. They'll fight for the second spot out of turn number two, but that will still be held by the 28 of Jim Lampman. Still all Rob Hoskins up front as we are three laps into our second qualifying heat. Jim Lampman and the 11R of Richardson continue to battle for the second spot on the track as Lampman continuing to stick to the high side, that lane that he generally likes to run here on a Saturday night. The 11R of Richardson, haven't seen him here too much this season, uh, maybe just once or twice for the duel on the dirt shows. So he's back here and fighting for second as the seven of Kevin Kokorek sneaking in there now as Richardson able to take away second from Lampman and now Kokorek to the inside of the 28 of Lampman through turns number one. Now through turn two, the advantage going to the seven of Kokorek down the back stretch by about a half a car length as he throws it into turn number three. Lampman trying to hold on to third on the high side of turn number four but loses it at the line to Kokrick as we see the two to go symbol being displayed from our starter, Steve DeVos. The 37H of Rob Hoskins looking strong here in this qualifying heat as he is going to get the one to go symbol. Now that white flag being displayed as he takes it through turn number two down the backstretch for the final time in this qualifying heat tonight without any errors, although Bryce Richardson right on his tail, it looks like the 37H of Hoskins will pick up the win over. Richardson Kokorek, the 28 of Jim Lampman and the 68 of Robin Mortensen will round